going on, y'all? It's AO Travel, and I'm back with another video. Y'all been asking, y'all been asking, y'all been asking. So I'm about to make the sauce. And I'm sure how to make seafood boil. If y'all check the title, y'all. So we got a lot of stuff here. I'm going to be going back and forth. As y'all can see, I just moved into my new place. So it's kind of stuff everywhere. But these are all the ingredients, y'all, for the sauce. We got a lot of stuff. And I'm, I'm going to, you know, just take y'all here and there. Sorry, y'all. So I was trying to get that together. So first, we're going to start cutting up our onion. Let me slide some of this stuff out the way. So we start off with our onion. And I want y'all to know, this sauce, is it, I'm not claiming this is my own sauce by any means. I love B-Love sauce. I, just, I use a lot of the ingredients that she used. I just make it my way. My way. Because that, that's what I want y'all to do too when y'all see the stuff that I put in there. Because I don't measure what I'm putting in it. I just put it in there. Because I like my taste buds, y'all like y'all's. So we're going to start it out with the onion. We're going to start with the onion. Get my knife. I don't know if that's a sharp or not. She was this knife. Be careful with the knives, y'all, because you can cut yourself. So we go ahead, I start off, I cut each side, you know, dump them in there, peel the onion. How was y'all day going today, by the way? I hope y'all having a lovely day. My day is not going so great, but whatever, we're not going to talk about it. We're going to enjoy our day together. And y'all, of course, after I film this. I'm a move on again. So you're gonna get that in there. Of course, you already know, you know, cut the onion in half. And then I pull out this little part right here because it's just ugly to me. I don't like it. Um, it's not that it tastes different, it's just ugly. So then I just go and I cut it. Like this. Boop, boop. Oh, y'all can't see. Just literally cut it. Mm. 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 Switch it this way because I'm gonna cut my hand off, y'all. And then we do the same for the other one. Just cut it on up. Cut it on up, cut it on up. And then you just put it in the skillet, y'all. Just put it in the skillet. Now, I like to, because I use more than one onion, I like to put it in the um in the, the skillet before I'm done with everything. Alright, y'all, I want y'all to get a close-up of the onions. Now, depending on how thick I want the sauce to be, I um I may use more than one onion. But with this one, I think, ooh, burn my eyes. Oh, my eyes are burning, y'all. They're burning. So with this one, I'm going to use this other small onion right here. Um instead of using two big ones. So then what I do, like it's a non-stick pan, but I still just like to spray a little something, something. 
So I spray it, look. Non spray, I mean non stick canola oil. Nothing major. Alright, y'all, so we're gonna let them onions cook. They're gonna grill up a little bit. Now, what we're finna do is cut up our butter. So I use not all eight of these, but I use six, y'all. So I got the unsalted butter and I got the salted butter. Now, of course, we're gonna use four of the salty ones and only two of the unsalted ones. So I always take them out the pack unwrap them I speed this up for y'all a little bit so I'm not boring y'all to death and then like I said we're going to take two of the unsalted um, and it's not like it really tastes any different to me. I don't taste no difference, but So our onions are heating up y'all. I'm gonna get them a little stir in a minute and then what I like to do Is I just like to cut them Literally, I just cut them in half um, to help them melt quicker. That's it, that's all. That is it, that is all. Then we're going to get our pan, well, pot, I should say, and just scoop them in. Because that's what they're going to cook in. As you can see, they, they doing a little something, something. Nothing major. This is gonna sum up a little bit. Cause you want them to get brown, but you don't want them to burn. If that makes sense. So I'm turning down just a little. I feel like the fire is kinda high. You see our eggs are still over there boiling, which is a good thing, good thing. And it's really just about stirring the, um, the onions so they cook evenly. They're burning the hell out of my eyes, I know that much. Okay, y'all, so as you can see, we are back. The butter has all melted. And now what I like to do is I like to put my, um, I like to put my wet ingredients in there first. So we have chicken broth. This is 14 and a half ounces. I'm going to put majority of it. You know, that a little bit. Like I told y'all, I don't measure my stuff. I don't measure it. Then we're gonna go ahead, put us just a little vinegar. Just for a little tang, not, not too much. You know, we don't wanna do too much. And then next, we have our Worcestershire. So I just put a couple drops, nothing major. Like I said before, we don't wanna do too much, but you all know your taste buds. So you make it how you want it to be made. 
for the hot sauce. I use Louisiana. That is my favorite hot sauce, y'all. All right. So now that is it for the wet ingredients, y'all. So now that we have all the wet ingredients in there, I like to go ahead and put my dry ingredients in there. So we're going to dump all the onion in there. Go ahead and put that to the side. And then we have our ginger. We got the sushi ginger. Um, this is just something I had left over. So we're going to dump all that in there. And now when it comes to the seasoning, y'all, I like to raise just a little bit higher. When it comes to the seasoning, once again, I don't measure it, but I like to go from light to dark. Y'all, I love garlic, so I put a lot in there, but I never measure anything, so. Because you know your taste buds, so you put however much you want to be in there. So we're gonna do the onion powder. And like I said, y'all, I don't measure it. I don't measure it. Garlic powder. Um, I like to do the Buffalo Wild Wing Salt and Vinegar. Just a little, just a little, just a little, just a little. Just a hint of oregano. Just a hint. Literally just a hint. Cause that stuff be strong. Then we go with our red pepper flakes. I like it spicy, so you gotta excuse me. Then we go ahead to our Creole seasoning. Obey. Paprika. Not much, but you know, enough. Cayenne. Chili powder. We gonna use us enough chili powder. To make it all dark and stuff. Yes, that is a lot. Because I like it to be spicy. But y'all know y'all taste buds. Make it how you want. And then you just stir it. Turn the heat up a little bit. And now we're gonna let that simmer and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, so the sauce has been simmering for a little bit. Let's take the lid off and see where we at. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just gonna stir it up a tad bit. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, look at that sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the lid back on there. So we got it on the cooling rack, y'all, so it can cool down. But that's what the sauce looks like. 
We're gonna go ahead and put it in the bowl and we're gonna mukbang it on up. And this, y'all, is the finished product of that seafood sauce. So I'm about to go snatch this do rag off. I'm about to cook this food up. And we about to mukbang this sauce, y'all. So y'all already know. Thank you for watching. Check out the description box for everybody part of the Epic Empire. And check out my social media. Peace.